how to write complete ionic equation and net ionic equation. Well, consider this reaction. Magnesium chloride react with silver nitrate. Now according to this general reaction, A will combine with D and C will combine with B. We get AD plus CB. Similarly, we say that inner combines with the inner and outer combines with the outer. This is just a double displacement reaction or precipitation reaction. No magnesium will combine with nitrate. We know that the net charge on magnesium ion is positive 2 and the net charge on nitrate ion is negative 1. We cross the respective charge of each ion. We get magnesium nitrate 2. So we correctly predicted the first product of this reaction which is magnesium nitrate. Secondly, silver will combine with chlorine. We know that the net charge on the silver is positive 1 and the net charge on chlorine is negative 1. We cross their respective charge. We get silver chloride. So we correctly predicted the second product of this reaction. Thus we say that aqueous magnesium chloride react with aqueous silver nitrate to form magnesium nitrate and silver chloride. Now the second step is to find the solubility of the products. According to this solubility table, the halogen like chlorine with silver is not soluble. Hence I write silver chloride is a solid. Secondly, we can see that all nitrate type compounds are soluble. Hence magnesium nitrate is soluble and its state is aqueous state. Now the third step is to balance this chemical equation. In order to balance this equation, I start balancing from anions like nitrate ion. At the right hand side, this too means that there are two nitrate ions. While at the left hand side, there is only one nitrate ion. I place here two. Secondly, this two with silver means that there are two silver ions. While at the right hand side, there is only one silver ion. I place here too. Now let me check it. At the left hand side, there is only one magnesium, there are two chlorine, there are two silver, and there are two nitrate ions. While at the right hand side, there is also one magnesium, there are two chlorines, two silver, and two nitrate ions. Hence the left hand side is equal to right hand side, and this reaction is completely balanced. The last step is to write complete ionic equation and net ionic equation. To do so, I write separately the ions of aqueous state. For example, magnesium chloride is in aqueous state. I will write their respective ions and the aqueous state. At the left hand side, I write magnesium ion plus two chlorine ions plus two silver ions plus two nitrate ions. At the right hand side, I write magnesium ion plus two nitrate ions plus two silver chloride. Because it is in solid state or fused state. This is the complete ionic equation. Remember this important concept of spectator ions. The ions appear same at both sides, having same physical states, are called spectator ions. For example, this aqueous magnesium ion and this aqueous magnesium ion are spectator ions. I cancel out all the spectator ions on both the sides. Magnesium ion, magnesium ion. Two nitrate ions, two nitrate ions. Now two chlorine ions plus two silver ions react together to form two silver chloride. I cut two on both the sides. I get Chlorine ion plus silver ion combined together to form silver chloride. This is the net ionic equation, hence noted down. Now I will use these steps to write complete ionic equation and net ionic equation in a very short period of time. For example, consider this. Potassium chloride react with lead nitrate. We know that inner combined with the inner, like lead combined with the chlorine. The charge on lead is positive 2 and that on chlorine is negative 1. We cross them. 
hence we get lead chloride. Secondly, outer combine with the outer like potassium combined with the nitrate ion. The charge on potassium is positive one and that on nitrate is negative one. We cross them, hence we get potassium nitrate. The second step is to find the solubility of the products. According to the solubility table, chlorine with positive cations like lead is not soluble. Hence lead chloride is not a soluble product. On the other hand, we can see that all the nitrate species are soluble. Hence potassium nitrate is a soluble product. The third step is to balance the chemical equation. As usual, we balance the large anions like nitrate. At the left hand side, there are two nitrate ions. At the right hand side, there is only one nitrate ion. I place here two. Now at the right hand side, there are two potassium. While at the left hand side, there is only one potassium. I also place here two. Now at the right hand side, there are two chlorine and one lead. At the left hand side, there are two chlorine and one lead. Hence this is the complete balanced chemical equation. The fourth step is to write the complete ionic equation and net ionic equation. I write two potassium ions plus two chlorine ions plus two lead ion plus two nitrate ions. Then lead chloride plus two potassium ions plus two nitrate ions. I cut the spectator ions like two potassium ions and two potassium ions, two nitrate ions and two nitrate ions. I get two chlorine ions plus lead ion react together to form lead chloride. This is the net ionic equation. Therefore, using these four simple steps, we can easily write complete ionic equation and net ionic equation. I hope that you have learned all these examples.